Hello everyone, it's Jackie here. Um, I'd like to share a project or a couple of projects with you that I've been working on lately. Quite simple um, gift card tags is what I'm calling them. This was the first one I made and they're on six by four inch pieces of chipboard. Um, I started making these for Laura Dennison's um, tag swap that she's done recently but in the end decided I didn't want to make nine so made a few to use myself. Um, the paper I've used on this one is Prima Botanical. It's a lovely, a lovely set of papers but unfortunately I've used most of them now. So I started as I said with a 6x4 piece of chipboard put a pocket on the front here, decorated it with a Martha Stewart punch, spellbinders, labels, die and a stamped butterfly that I've coloured with Copic markers and cut out and put on there and underneath there's a fern stamp which is also coloured in with the Copic markers. Put a space on the back for journaling or a little message if you wanted to use this with a present and then in the pocket there's a couple of tags the first one is from a round um, lacy circle spellbinders die I've actually put a photograph on the back of this one um, so that's one use for it you could put anything you like obviously on there and then the other tag is to fit in the pocket is again done on card. It's stamped with some lines on the back so you could add a message. This is part of the paper and then I've made a little pocket here to put the gift card in, stamped it again with the fern and if you had a suitable gift card that would just pop in there like that. So as I say that was the first one I made and I quite liked how that turned out so I did this one just got a little bit more added on to it this time so again started with again this is Prima Botanical started with a 6x4 chipboard covered in the paper this time I've put a pocket on curved it a little bit and stuck some lace some cream cotton lace behind it which I've attached with a hot glue gun and just gathered it up as I've gone along and that turned out quite nicely really. The flowers are from the Tattered Florals dye, Tim Holtz Tattered Florals. The red papers are, they're not Prima, they're K and Company. And this leaf dye is Sizzix. And then on the back of that I've put the pocket again for the gift card holder. So again that would pop in there, any gift card you wanted and a Martha Stewart butterfly and then for the pocket I've made another tag, decorated it with a Stampington, Stampington stamp, Martha Stewart butterfly there, a little bit of paper lace, Martha Stewart punch and left the back blank to put any message on that you wanted to and that pops in like that. Seam binding for the um, hole at the top, I don't know what you would call that piece really and these pearls here are brads. So that was number two and then in one of the groups I'm in recently put up a swap for a buttons and it was supposed to be Four, three or four buttons presented on a tag. So I thought I'd do another of these 6x4 tags. Decided that was a little bit big and a bit plain to put the buttons on. So went back to this arrangement um, and made a similar type thing for this. So I'll start with the back. 6x4 as I said, this is K and Company paper, I think it's called Ancestors, something like that. It's 
quite an old one so I'm not sure it would still be available. I've used the Tim Holtz Tattered Floral Dyes again for the flowers at the bottom. Um, a piece of paper lace using Martha Stewart Punch and the Sizzix Leaf Dye. This is Martha Stewart's Butterfly, the large monarch butterfly and I've put some pearls on the body there and a flower stamen stuck on here for the antennae. On the back, because it's a swap, instead of the gift card I've made a little ATC to go in there just to add a bit of extra interest and as you probably saw I made a little charm to go on the side. Um, this is mostly made out of beads from bits of old jewellery and then a couple of um, little charms that I've had for a while. There's a key, some flowers and two little lovebirds there. And that's just clipped onto a lobster clasp and then the Tim Holtz um, clip there so that just fits onto the side just to add a bit more interest and then the buttons that I've made to put on this card um, this was six by four this is five by three and a quarter so there are four buttons that I've made from scratch they're just made out of punched circles of cardstock layered up on top of each other and glued um, with a bit of script paper on the top. Um, the holes are punched with my crocodile um, and I've put glossy, ants, ox, glossy accents on the top of the buttons to give them a bit of a shine. I don't know if that picks up there. Some more Martha Stewart butterflies with pearl bodies, a little bit of stamping to add interest to that card and I've just decorated the back with another Stampington stamp. So as I say that's going for a swap, I think it's a partner swap so hopefully my partner when I'm allocated her will like that. I certainly enjoyed making it and I'll probably make a few more of these perhaps with a bit more stamping on to get back to that. Thank you for watching, bye bye.